there's the mail. I can't get as good of a view from here, but I, you can see there are different colors. Oops. I lost focus. I want to be focused better, but I actually lost focus. Now you can see the the dark head, and I think I need to tap again to stay in there. Um, there you can see that's the male. So you can see the different coloration um, in comparison to the females that were there before. If uh, you're confused, look at look at the other video I posted. You'll be able to see actually now that one, even though it doesn't uh, zoom it as good, you can actually see the the difference in coloration of uh, the male and the female, the dark hair, the bright yellow. And uh, hopefully there will be a female that will come, that it could be a comparison, but it just doesn't seem like the males and females fit together. So I had moved the orange from the other side to this side. So it's, uh, it's actually a recommendation by one of our good neighbors. And he's the one that got us the contraption there. It's really just a wire with a floaty thing. It's like one of those pool floaties that's cut and uh, the wires are uh, weaved through it and half an orange. So I noticed earlier they were trying to uh, eat the hummingbird stuff. So I ended up just uh, filling up the cup on top. It's supposed to keep the ants uh, But I figure since we haven't had ants or hummingbirds yet, and they were trying to drink something, so I just put it on the cup on the top, and I'll see if they'll come and drink from it. On the other hand, hey, if ants drink from the top of it, well and good, you know. <laughs> it's actually, I've noticed uh, hummingbirds do eat or feed the, uh, some of the ants to their young ones, so it's a win-win for both. So, uh, so far, so good. And it's eating it for a while. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there you have it. Uh, I don't know if the females would come back that fast that I could be able to capture both of the, of the differences in the one video. If not, oh well, you know. I think we'll give it a, at least a minute to the most. And I was actually at a very different angle too. Maybe I can try and move a little to be in a better position because I'm, I had just tried to just kneel over there to get a better angle. And uh, I, I figured if I move, he'll see me and scare away. So I was, uh, I was really uh, trying to do some uh, covert maneuvering. <laughs> My head was shaking pretty good at it too. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get better better recording devices in time and be able to uh, get better footage otherwise it's always cool and you know always appreciate when nature brings about such coolness and, uh, yeah, i forgot to putting them all Putting them together in one spot will be a lot easier and I could get a better angle and you'll eliminate having to, uh, before I was at this angle here, you'd, you'd, I had to record this way and uh, the other, the other orange thing was up there, so it's, uh, 
it's you know it's good to have it in one place then it'd be easier to record you know unless they have a conflict the Oreos and the hummingbirds and we have to try and move it around to suit him because there's one other shepherd stick back there I can kind of see it on the back of the window over there that we can use and there comes a squirrel so oh he's got something in his mouth not so sure what and what he's trying to do to um and always something so he's trying to hide it up there so <laughs> he's got some kind of it looks like uh, it was something that looked like a uh, potato chip and a, a french fry. So obviously he's finding an area to hide stuff and he's that's a very smart squirrel because he's figured out how to hide how to hide his food up there where he can keep an eye on it and nothing else is going to get to it. That was actually a f fun experience to see that. So he's he stuffed it up there so he can come and get it. It's very interesting. So it looked like a french fry or something. So we'll see. Maybe he's going to get another one and we'll see if we'll get a better footage. I already zoomed a bit. But um, <laughs> that's very interesting. Oh, uh, well, you know. You just never know what you might see, and that's why it's always cool to be observant and watching nature, and mostly in spring now that there's, uh, you know, things are starting to grow again. And you can see that tree over there with the hole. That's where the squirrels live. So usually they, those are one of the few uh, squirrels that we have that live in burrows or uh hollows on the tree most of the other ones build their nests uh, they look more like uh, red squirrels than the gray squirrels we have we have like three different squirrels about and uh when we are more and more uh, i think it'll be more north from here uh, we had um uh, in a place called Muhammad, Lake of the Woods, there were black squirrels, which I haven't seen much around here since then. And uh, it's you know, it's they seem to live more in the forest or in uh, they had larger territories or something. Otherwise, uh, maybe in here one of the body that we have over there. So she sees something through the window too. So I'm trying to raise the alarm. Or, get contact but anyway i was hoping the other females would come during that time or the squirrel will come back again with some more stashing to do but <laughs> it's just uh it's it's it, it's just one of those things that tickles you anyway it's mother's day happy mother's day <laughs> and call your mom <laughs> Bye.